the Engineering Access Program is a program specifically designed to assist Aboriginal students in getting an engineering degree here. The province of Manitoba was out looking to have hire an engineer who was of Aboriginal descent and they couldn't find one. And as they surveyed wider and wider across the province, then across the country, they realized there were virtually no engineers of Aboriginal descent. So they decided to, to take a closer look at this and find out why not. So eventually what they found out was that there was real barriers for Aboriginal people to get into the Faculty of Engineering. Uh, some of those barriers were like having math and physics at the highest level in high school, which at that time many communities didn't offer these courses. So they decided to assist Aboriginal people by offering some of these courses at the university, by offering tutor supports, some financial supports, some social supports to students so that they could access the Faculty of Engineering and thereby get a degree here. Since that start, we have had over 80 graduates. Now we are the most successful engineering access program in the country. There aren't very many of them, and the ones that came after us are all modeled after what we do here. A group of our past graduates have actually gotten together and formed their own company, their own engineering company. It's called Aishkam Engineering, and they are offering engineering services mainly to Aboriginal communities uh, in Manitoba which is also, I think, a good, a good statement about our program. You know, engineering is a career that's based in math and science. So while they don't have to necessarily be geniuses in those areas, they do have to have a love for math and science and somewhat of an aptitude in order to be successful. The Aboriginal population in Manitoba continues to grow. And what we're seeing now is that in NGAP, our population is getting younger and they're coming to us with better high school credentials which makes our job easier and makes their chance of success greater. And I think that's only going to continue. As, as, as the Aboriginal population increases and as they realize the importance of education, they'll be more apt to stay in school, more apt to get those credits that they need to come into engineering, and, and more apt to, to be successful once they get here.